Hey YouTube, it's uh, January 11th, 2022, and in New York right now it is 16 degrees. So winter is officially here. Before we get into today's video, let's talk a little bit about the watch that I'm wearing today. Uh, so today it's the Universal Geneve Pull Router. Uh, this one's super beautiful. It's a gold capped case. Um, just stunning. Uh, great everyday piece. Um, I'm finding myself wearing it more and more often uh, this winter. Just on this, uh, you know, brown leather strap. This weather right now in New York, 16 degrees outside and not nice, um, is actually the perfect weather for Iron Heart denim. Um, so if you've never heard of Iron Heart, it's a super, super cool brand. Um, originally founded in, in Japan as a motorcycling kind of denim brand. They also have outerwear and leather jackets and, and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, but they're really, really known for their denim. And in particular, they're super heavy, you know, 21 ounce denim. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. I've owned my pair of Iron Heart Indigo Snake Denim, which is a 21 ounce uh, denim for, you know, around maybe two or three years at this point. Um, and I'll just say that they've not even started to break in. Um, but what's super cool is when you hear 21 ounce denim, um, you think that's super stiff, it's super rigid, very uncomfortable probably. But what's actually super surprising when you get a pair um, is how easy they are to wear. They're really soft, very surprisingly, um, for a pair of raw denim that heavy. So now for some specs on these jeans. Um, so I'm looking at snakeoilprovisions.com, so thanks for the, <laughs> for the information on that website. Um, so it says the 555 model has a slim top block and small leg opening that's cut straight from the knee down, you know, i.e. no taper. Um, the 21 ounce denim is the most recognizable in sought after fabrics thanks to its easy break in, loose and comfortable weave, and mine welting fading potential. So I would definitely agree with all of those points. Um, they're super comfortable. They're, I have not seen them start to fade very much yet, um, but I can only imagine as I wear them over the next couple years um, that the fading's gonna look amazing as they start to break in. So I've owned um, a number of pairs of jeans. I went through a bit of a raw denim phase. I'm, I guess I'm still in it. Um, you know, trying out APC, Momo Taro, um, obviously Ironheart. I've not tried out Plu, uh, Plu, uh, Pure Blue Japan yet, um, but want to, there's a couple other brands out there that I still want to try. Um, but I will say that when it comes to winter, you know, heavy weight, it's cold outside, I want to throw on a pair of jeans that kind of feels like armor in some sort of ways, um, I definitely reach for my Iron Heart jeans. Um, so if you're contemplating getting a pair, um, I would say go for it, try it. Um, ideally, you know, try to go to a store to size yourself, see, you know, what size you are because um, you obviously want them to fit properly. Um, it's a bit of an investment, but if you consider that, you know, a pair of Levi's from Kohl's or Old Navy or whatever is going to cost you, you know, eighty, a hundred dollars, um, and those will probably last a year and, you know, the quality is not going to be great, you're going to get a lot of years out of these um, Iron Heart jeans. Um, I promise you that. Um, so to me, they're worth the investment because I know that I'm going to have them um, and can, you know, really enjoy them as I wear them and see the, the fading start and the, kind of my story start to come out in the jeans. Um, to me, they're a worthwhile investment. You can kind of see how these jeans fit. They're super comfortable on the top, uh, kind of top half. They're not super tight, which I, you know, I like a lot. Um, you can see the works patch here, the, the leather patch at the back. Um, just really, really comfortable. And here's a top-down view, so just, you know, nothing nothing super crazy, uh, just a straight leg jean. Um, they fit me super nice, they're not too tight, you can see that I still have a, some room in the in the thigh area. Um, not too tight, not too loose, just a real perfect fit. And here's a close-up of the jeans, so as you can see, I've not really um, aged these very much. You can see a little bit of a, an electric blue coming in here, um, but real, really nothing super crazy. Um, again, you can see a little bit of a, you know, kind of where I keep my phone on this side, uh, poking through, but still a ton of fading to go on these. Um, a beautiful, you know, button fly here, and just super, super nice fabric. Iron Art also gives you really great details in these jeans. So you can see here the um, the self edge detailing in the coin pocket, as well as the self-edge detailing on the inside of the uh, fly, which is super, super nice. Again, you can see some light, you know, fading towards the crotch area here, but nothing super significant. 
And as you flip the jeans over, you'll see a pretty similar story. Um, again, I've had these for, you know, around two years or so, um, and really no significant fading. Um, again, you can see some some fading here by the where the rivets are. Um, right here, you can see that that's starting to turn a little bit. Um, the beautiful thing about the Ironheart jeans is the pocket bags are lined as well, um, which adds kind of some weight to it as well, which is super nice. Towards the other side of the back, um, you can see the patch, which again has started, you know, it's, this has definitely gotten darker. So this is, again, the Ironheart 555. Oh, one's the Indigo Snake in a 32 length. Um, so this patch, you know, is obviously raw leather. Um, so that's definitely gotten darker over time, which is super nice. Um, then you can see the Works logo in red um, stitching here, which is also really nice. Um, the cool thing about these Ironheart jeans is that um, this pocket stitch uh, towards the back here is is in a blue is in a blue um, kind of fabric. So, you know, once you start to wear them and fade in the back, um, that'll pop out in a really nice blue color, which I'm looking forward to. Moving down, this is towards the back of the knee area. So some honeycombing starting to appear um, here, but nothing super crazy. Again, you can see some light um, indigo starting to pop through on here, but nothing nothing super crazy. Excited to keep, keep fading these in. And again, these are 36 um, inseams, so I keep them cuffed at the bottom. Um, you can see the beautiful uh, self-edge detailing here. Um, and again, nothing, nothing super crazy in terms of fading towards the bottom of these. Um, just a nice thick cuff that looks great um, over some boots. Forgot to mention that at the top of the jeans, um, hopefully you can see this, um, all of the, you know, the buttons and rivets are branded. Um, so this one says, you know, Ironheart Works Inc as well as all the buttons here as well. Um, and then on the copper rivets, it all is also um, branded with, you know, Ironheart Works. Super nice touch. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give me a follow on Instagram. Um, we'd love to continue the conversation. What are your favorite denim brands? Do you like Ironheart? Um, what are some other brands that I should check out? Let me know down below or on Instagram, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.